Your father's had dealings with them. Oh, I think anybody that's been powerful has had some dealings with them from time to time. I'm hoping they can help us with world oil. I don't know about that, Mark. I'm going to find out. I'm sure you will. Gregory, where's Allison? Gregory? What? Where's Allison? She went out. Out where? She didn't say. Well, I wish she would tell me when she's going somewhere so I wouldn't worry myself sick. It's still early. Marshall isn't even home yet. That's not the point. She should have the courtesy to tell me where she's going. Allison's not so big on courtesy all the time. <laughs> but she means well. Yeah. Better be her. Hello? It was nice seeing you again, Ashley. Who is this? So you know who this is, Ashley. Why are you calling? It's been a long time, hasn't it? I'm looking forward to making up for lost time. No. Stay out of my life. Is that Allison? Ashley? Who's on the phone? Nobody. Next part of Texas. And now, the next part of Texas. Oh, George, is that coming? Howdy, ma'am. Are you two the fellows I'm expecting? If you're expecting Hawker Barnes, Boots Boot Rope. Very same. Are your boots clean? Shiny as a frozen pond. Come on in. Hey, uh, Hawker, this is some spread. Doesn't look like Houston. Can I fix you fellas something to drink? Sounds good to me. Well, what'll it be? Bourbon. Straight and tall, no ice. Coming up. Ooh. You've met the Wheelers before? Nope. Well, they're real nice folks. I think you're gonna like them. I'm sure we will. Where did you guys get such silly names? Especially yours. You know, I used to have a kitten once named Boots. It's the cutest thing you ever saw. It had little white paws. Not me. Like Sorry, but... uh, This is Boots Boudreau and uh, Hawker Barnes. Yeah, Boots? Yeah. Hawker. Pleasure to meet you both. Can I get you anything to drink, Mr. Mark? Uh, nothing. Thanks, Vivian. Okay, I'm going to be in the kitchen. I got pies. What kind of pie? Blueberry. Fresh? Well, now, would I use canned? Now, this is one right smart little filly. Now, don't you go wandering off, darling, you hear? If you want anything, you just holler. <laughs> Why don't we sit, gentlemen? Hey. <clears throat> I suppose it would help if I told you a little bit about myself. Well, save your breath. We know all about you and World Oil. You're gonna have to move real fast, and Marshal Oil's gonna whip your tail. Well, they've got the edge with that ace high chain. You know your business, don't you? Well, we, uh, we keep our ears open. You have to know where all the bodies are buried. <laughs> like that hoo-ha between Rena Decker and Ashley Marshall. That was some cat fight. You gotta give that Decker filly credit, though. Exposing that phony pregnancy. <laughs> Poor Hattie, that, that was really something. <laughs> that $40 million Mrs. Marshall inherited bailed them out. What kind of shape are they in? Not as good as you. You, uh, you want a little advice, son? <laughs> yeah. I sure do. Merge with martial oil. You'll have yourself a cage full of ring-tailed tigers, but it sure as hell won't be boring. <sighs> no way. I'm going to make world oil grow without merging. Uh, only one way you can do that. How? Huh? What he means is, you need us, son. We're the only big chance you got. You going to work all night? Grant, no, I was going to leave in a few minutes. I'm having dinner with your daughter. 
Would you like to join us? Oh, that's a mighty tempting offer, but uh, I want to talk to Mark after his meeting with Barnes and Boudreaux. Oh, he doesn't waste any time, does he? That's why I hired him. You two are going to make a great team. Well, you're a member of this team, too. Oh, I think right now Mark would like to bench me. Why? Did you two have a go at it? No. Actually, he was pretty nice about it, but I knew he doesn't approve. Approve of what? What happened? I hired Allison Linden. Oh, really? You don't approve either? Well, not necessarily. I don't understand what the big deal is all about. She's just a kid. Well, she also happens to be Justin's sister-in-law. Incidentally, Ashley requested that we not hire her. What did you say? Simply that I don't involve myself in the hiring. Are you mad? No, of course not. Just be careful. Like father, like son, I don't know if I stand a chance with you two. Oh, guys. you're going to hold your own. I'll try. I, um, I kind of admire you. <laughs> oh, why don't we go out to dinner together sometime soon? I'd like that. Gregory. It won't take you that long. You're, you're much smarter than me. I think you need your ears cleaned out. I told you I'm busy. Please, don't bother me right now. Okay, I'm gone. Gregory, I'll be in there in a minute and play Space Raiders with you. You treat him awful. Think he treats me any better? Would you please sit down? Too nervous to sit down. Where is Allison? Don't be worrying about her. She's a grown woman. Oh, you think so? Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'll make you think. Hi, guys. Where have you been, Allison? Out shopping. Had to buy a dress for work. You got a job? Mm-hmm. Sure did. Oh, that's real good. Who are you going to be working for? Rena Decker. The former writers of General Hospital invite you to watch their new show, Days of Our Lives, on NBC. Look who's got the hottest cast in daytime now. Look again, it's Texas on NBC. Box like this. What are you doing, huh? I feel so good. I just didn't even notice, Billy Joe. Oh. Well, where do you want me to put this? Uh, bar spine. Alrighty. <laughs> Hello, 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 Sure, I'm really good at keeping secrets. <laughs> I'm going to propose to Nita. Oh! oh, that's wonderful. I always knew that you and Nita belonged together. I know it really, really hurts you being away from that beautiful little baby. Yeah, it sure did. I'm really happy for you, Billy Joe. Well, I just hope Nita likes the idea. Well, she will, I just know it. But wouldn't that be something we could really be a family again, huh? I'll keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so what's your excuse? Excuse? For being so happy. Uh, I'm going to produce a record for Ricky Decker. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Well, Ruby. She's one with all the good ideas. Darn sister of mine. Uh, what's wrong, Billy Joe? And I suppose you're footing the bill, too, aren't you? Well, yeah, but Ruby says I'm going to make a whole lot of money. I thought you'd be pleased. Hey, I'm sorry, darling. I don't mean to bring you down. I don't understand why you're so There's upset. There's nothing to fret about. I just need to talk to my little sister about this. That's all. Hi. 
Hi, Ruby. I'm glad you're sitting down. Why? Because I got some news that's going to knock you right off your feet. Oh, yeah? Well, what's the big news? How would you like to cut a record album? What? I'm not kidding, Ricky. This is your big break. Well, that's great. What's the label? It's a good label. One that's going to do a lot for you. Well, which one? Well, is that really that important? I mean, I got you the deal. Isn't that enough? Ruby, what aren't you telling me? Nothing. Well, I want to know what label. All right. It's going to be your own label. I don't have the money to cut a record. You don't have to worry about the money. Since when? All right, all right. I'm giving this to you straight now, okay? Lurleen Harper wants to back the album with her own money. Lurleen. She really wants to do this, Ricky. Look, don't disappoint that poor little girl. Don't you think she's been through enough already? Ruby, I'm not going to use Lurleen's money. But your record is going to make money for you and for Lurleen. Ruby, I can't do it. Ricky, I am your business manager, and I'm telling you, this album would be real good for your career. You can't blow it. Yeah? What's in it for you? Me? Yeah. What's in it for you, Ruby? I mean, you keep telling me how this is going to help me and it's going to help Lurleen. Why do I get the feeling that you're the one who's going to benefit the most from all of this? I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, that's the way it looks. You're going to work for Rena Decker? Mm-hmm. Isn't that terrific? What are you thinking of, Allison? I needed a job. Well, you're not going to work for the competition. Well, yes, I am. I already told Rena I would. Oh, it's Rena now, is it? Rena? What are you getting so upset about? Well, I'm really proud of you, Donna. That took a lot of guts. I can't even believe I'm hearing this. You ought to relax, darling. You've been tighter than a drum for weeks now. Yeah, you've been way uptight lately. I am not the one who is crazy here. Oh, I don't think having our own spy over there at World Oil, I don't think that's too crazy, do you? I didn't <laughs> say that I was going to be a spy. I can't believe you two. You're acting like this is some kind of a game. It's not. Her. Well, she's she's just tired. She's been through a lot lately. Yeah, well, I wish she wouldn't take it out on me. Mm -hmm. Well, she doesn't mean to, darling. No, I just hate it when she treats me like I'm a little kid. I'll have a talk with her. You will? Sure. Sure, well, you're a young, grown-up girl with a responsible position. You deserve having a little respect. <laughs> I know all about this uh, little scheme of yours to use Lurleen's money to back Ricky's album. So what? It stinks, Ruby. And you conned her into it, didn't you? Billy Joe, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, now suppose you tell me all about it then. This is something that Lurleen wanted to do. That's funny. She said it was your idea. Well, Lurleen was looking to make an investment, and I just think this is going to be a good deal for Ricky and for Lurleen. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt you any either, would it? Billy Joe, Lurleen and I are partners. That's interesting, darling. Let me tell you something. That record's never going to be made. Why not? Ricky's not going to stand for it. Do you think he's going to take Lurleen's money? Billy Joe, just keep your nose out of this, okay? Because it does not concern you. Oh, yes, it does. Lurleen's a friend of mine, and so is Ricky. And I want to tell him how you're trying to use him. I am not trying to use him, Billy Joe. This is the best thing for everybody involved. Especially you. Why are you doing this? Why? Because I don't like seeing my friends getting hurt. That's why, Ruby. What about me, Billy Joe? Don't you care about me? Well, sure I do. Well, then how come every time I have one single shred of happiness, you just rip it up? Now, that's not true at all, Ruby. It sure seems that way. Well, look, let me tell you something. I just don't want to see you happy at the expense of, of Ricky and Lurleen. You just think about that, okay? Think about it. 
You missed the excitement around here this afternoon. You mean Hawker and Boots? What about them, Vivian? Well, they really kept me on my toes between refilling their glasses and giving them more blueberry pie. I thought I wouldn't have a chance to breathe. Oh, I'm sorry they gave you that much trouble. Well, I can handle it pretty well. If you guys don't need me, I'm going to be in the kitchen making more pies. What did you think of them, Mark? <sighs> Vivian's right. They're a couple of characters. They got quite an act going. What kind of an act? Well, they uh, play it like a couple of good old boys in a Burt Reynolds movie. But it's all an act. What do you mean? Underneath that down-home pattern and ten-gallon hats are a couple of uh, very sharp characters. They're very powerful men. We're going to have to deal with them. I'm looking forward to it. Got to be quick to keep up with them. Well, I'll leave Hawker and Boots to you then. I was hoping you would. Just keep me posted. I will. I, uh... I understand that you and Rena had a little run-in. Did she tell you she hired Ashley, uh, Marshall's sister? Yeah, does that bother you? I don't approve. But I'm sure she can handle it. I told her as much. Well, Rena can handle anything she puts her mind to. Well, ladies, I think it's time for me to get to work. Maybe I'll see you two later. I hope so. It's been good talking to you. It's good to see you, too. And don't you be such a stranger now. You're my sister-in-law. We should see a little more of each other. Well, you're right. And we will in 1982. All right. Nice to see you. Maybe I'll see you soon, Brett. Bye-bye. He likes you, lady. Yeah, we're good friends. Oh, I think he'd like to be a whole lot more than just that. Rena, it wouldn't work. We're very different. Yes, he's a man and you're a woman. That's the best kind of difference there is. So how are you getting along with my brother? Oh, <laughs> he's something. He's good, isn't he? Very. Of course, it doesn't surprise me. The whole family's very impressive. Including Dad? Especially your dad. I was hoping you felt that way. So when is the next Wheeler going to join World Oil? We could really use a Cracker Jack geologist. Soon. Thanks a lot. That's really pinning it down for me. Well, I need some more time to myself, but I promise when I do go back to work, it'll be for World Oil. At least that's something. And I have to warn you about something else. Sounds ominous. When I do go back to work, I'm going to do everything I can to convince you and Dad that you're right for each other. We'll see. Texas will be right back.
This part of Texas was brought to you by Zest, the deodorant bar that leaves no sticky soap film, so you feel really clean. spectacular New Year's Day on NBC, starting with a special edition of Today, hosted by Gene Shalit. You'll be joined by Oscar-winning composer Marvin Hamlet and Cosmopolitan editor Helen Gurley-Brown. Then don't miss New Year's Day with Regis Philbin and guest Morgan Fairchild. Right after that, NBC brings you live coverage of the fabulous Tournament of Roses Parade, followed by three great football games, the Fiesta Bowl, the Rose Bowl, and the Orange Bowl, all New Year's Day on NBC. each weekday at this time for the continuing story of Texas.